Science, we're going to walk you through some resources that we've been developing lately to um, both for our um, teacher professional development section that we release on Thursdays, but also to go with our STEM content that we release most Mondays. So today's a little different um, being a Monday release. We don't actually have a new STEM content episode today, but we are going to walk you through, like we said, the some resources that we're coming up with. If we scroll down a little bit, first of all, we're starting at our page and you're going to come to the first table that's the teacher professional development episodes and they're in order from most recent you're welcome to watch any of these videos that look good we have a whole series august was focused on nature of science and we if you scroll down you can see um we have a tutorial on a free virtual labs from vernier and then some different ways of um, i know one episode talked about tech fatigue Google Slides and some different um, Google platforms. But if you continue, our most of our Monday releases are with STEM content professionals. And what we're doing is we are coming up with listening guides for these STEM professional episodes, but we also have started putting together Google Forms. And these Google Forms are gonna be ready for you to use to assign on your learning management system and so we're just going to walk you through how to utilize some of those today. Our most recent one was last Monday. It was Clinton Williams on how, how treatment plants work and about what happens after water is treated. Um, the Monday before that, we had zombie cicadas. We had um, Emily Hall. And you're going to see Google Forms with all of these. If we click on this very first one, and it brings you to a copy screen. And we want to go ahead and make a copy of that. That's going to copy it directly into your Google Drive. And then it's going to bring it up. And right now, that gives you editing rights. So you're going to see that you're able to format this to however it's going to work best with your class. But it's ready to go, and it's right in your Google Drive. You can change the title. Um, for me, that's always an important thing to do first. Next, you want to make sure that you can move it to a folder. Maybe you want to make a folder just for these, or you want to put it in a folder where you're going to remember where it is. But then before you can assign it to students, you're going to want to click on Responses and set up a spreadsheet so that you can collect their responses and, and assign them a grade if this is something that you're going to assign. So we want to hover over this green icon right here, this Create a Spreadsheet. And we're going to create a new spreadsheet to go with this Google form. We're going to go ahead and create this. And my, I'm going to allow pop-ups for now. And Google really does a lot of this work for you. It's got all this. Now what we did in the Google form originally, if we go back to questions, we enabled so that when we set this up in our settings, we clicked on the link to automatically collect email addresses. And this is something whenever you set up a Google form, you want to do before you create your spreadsheet. And that way, the email address is getting collected right next to the timestamp. For me, that's just an organizational thing that um, I prefer. But then you're going to see um, boxes that go with all the other questions on that Google form. Then we want to make sure that once that um, Google form is created, uh, or the sheet for that Google form is created, we want to make sure and file that. Um, so click here, and that's going to help move that into, I always put it in the same folder where I originally had my Google form. So again, we have these available for the um, the STEM content professionals. We're developing more every day. We have listening guides for most of our STEM content episodes that we release on Mondays. Um, we will be um, finishing up Google Forms in addition to these listening guides as worksheets, and all of those can be found on our Superheroes of Science page that we've started. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you next time on Superheroes of Science.